they sharpeners? No, they're uh, fire starters. Oh. Flint and steel, my friend, flint and steel. What's going on, guys? So we're here for T3G with... Full Throttle. And we're talking about... What are we talking about right now? I don't know if we're doing the movie or the shows. <laughs> Uh, let's talk about the movie. Let's do the movie. Let's yeah. talk about the let's movie. Let's do the movie. So, <laughs> we went to see Jupiter Ascending last night. We did go to see Jupiter's, Jupiter, Jupiter's, no, Jupiter. Jupiter Ascending. Jupiter Ascending. Jupiter and Ascending. I enjoyed the movie overall. Uh, it, it's an enjoyable movie. I think it's definitely worth seeing in theaters. Don't expect too much from it. <laughs> that's kind of the, that's kind of my quick review. Yeah, so a little you know quick bit from me. Um, I also enjoyed the movie for its um, visuals. Uh, the visuals were amazing. Of course, it's the uh, Wachowski brothers which do the Matrix. So I, you know, I don't expect anything less. And also at the same time, uh, you know, we're in the industry, we're in the time period of where this industry uses visuals on a consistent basis and makes it look as real as possible. Right. So anytime you see a movie with visuals, if they do a crappy job, you're going to know it because so far everybody, you know, with Marvel movies and all that, you're, you're going to see visuals to their back. So you can't really mess that up. But visually wise, it was great. Story wise, it was okay. I like um, the story. I like the story. I just don't think there was a lot of uh, the 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 actors are really what got me. Yeah. And so because of that, the characters didn't really resonate. No. Nah, nah. You know, we we talked about Channing Tatum. Yeah. Hard. It's hard to see him as anything but Channing Tatum. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I've ever seen of his where I'm really into the role. Is 22 Jump Street or 21 Jump Street? 21 Jump Street, I enjoyed a lot with Channing. Before that, I was actually not a huge fan of him because really mostly that I knew him for was um, Step Up. And then, right. and then he did the and one... And at that time, it, I mean, that role doesn't really require a lot. So right. he didn't really do much besides play himself. I right, mean, precisely. And then he also did the movie. He did G.I. Joe, which I didn't like him in. I, I wasn't a fan of him. I being... wasn't a huge fan. I think he did an okay job in G.I. Joe, but we'll talk about G.I. Joe another time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, I mean, overall, when it comes down to his acting chops, I've seen him in a lot of things, but overall, uh, I've only enjoyed him in 21 Jump Street, and I do want to see Foxcatcher just to see his acting sure. be better. Uh, but when it comes down to this kind of role, when it's a more action role with a little bit of uh, maybe drama behind it, um, I don't know. It just wasn't wasn't feeling it. Just didn't connect he, with it. He could have tried a little more. I think it it really came down to another ten percent effort, and I think it could have I could have been in the role. Right. Uh, it, it just there was way too many opportunities where his his facial expressions. His, his, you know, his body stance, it was very much Channing Tatum. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't, I forget his name. That's, that's how much, yeah, I don't know. Cade. It's Cade. It's Cade, right, right. His Cade, the, the Because they always call him Mr. Something. Yeah, yeah, it's Cade. I forget the, the whatever, he whatever his last name. So, yeah. you know, it, it was very, very few moments was it Cade on screen. For me, it was always Channing Tatum. And it, that, which takes you out of the movie if you really think it all. And I compared it to Captain America last night. Not once did I ever think, oh, Chris Evans. Right, no, no you thought like, Steve Rogers. Always Steve Rogers, always Captain America on screen. That's the thing, that's that becoming that role. And that's something that I've yet to see out of Channing Tatum. Yeah, and that's, uh, you know, that comes down to the acting part of it. Like I said, the, the story was okay. I mean, uh, you know, it's not... I wouldn't say it was anything amazing, but at the same time, it was a decent story. You know, I couldn't really say much. But when it came down to acting, like you said, Channing Tatum, he didn't do a terrible job. Don't get me guy. Uh, don't don't get me wrong. I don't think he did a terrible job. Right. I just didn't connect to him like I would with others for those type of roles. And uh, Mila Kunis, I think she, overall she did a good job for her role. I think she um, did. A, I think she did a great job for the role. Um, I think the character was. A little idealistic right. for someone who who has such a pardon the pun shitty job. Um, she cleans bathrooms. Right. <laughs> so for someone who has such a shitty job, it's it, it's hard to believe that she has this great, you know, 
burning desire to protect mankind and has this huge value of life. Right. Um, it's just, it's hard. It's hard to believe that a little bit. Um, you know, you definitely do, but by the end of the movie, you definitely feel that that's, that's who she is, but it, right off the bat, you know, from going in the first five minutes of her, like, repeating, I hate my life, I hate my life, I hate my life, right. to, to her sacrificing herself for the good of all man, right. like, that's kind of a, a large stretch for me. She made it. She made the jump. You know, she made sure. that leap. But just, just made it. I'm, I'm interested to see. In all honesty, guys, uh, I'm gonna just straight up say it. If it was my decision, I would either matinee this movie or wait for the Dollar Theater. Uh, as bad as that sounds, because I know a lot of money was probably invested towards this movie. Um, but I mean, overall, it wasn't a movie that really just. It, 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 it like just grips you you know what I'm saying there's those there's a lot of movies out there and even TV shows that just that once you watch the first two minutes of it you're hooked and you just want to see how this story plays out with this movie I didn't have that um, the, yeah. the, the, the movie was presented good and just I don't know something about it just does not hook you at all like throughout the whole movie and it's sad to say I was thinking like you know what time is it like it wasn't the movie didn't hung me I was thinking what time is it so it can be over like has it been you know long enough for it to almost be done with it it's it that's not a good sign it and honestly it's nothing to do with the directing I don't think because I think the movie overall was directed I think great. it was done well yeah, yeah. I, I think it was just there was just something lacking uh, I think they tried to they they really tried to recreate the matrix i think i think so too i think they try to create this thing that has this huge potential universe and this does i mean the, but it kind of it does in the way of it telling you that it does it's like oh there's there's three or four different scenes where they're talking about this th this this venture this enterprise is part of an enormous you know universe right. of of businesses that do the same thing that we do and it's really kind of it's just like I get it. I get it. you're putting it in my face. There's gonna be a sequel if this does well. Like I get it. Yeah, there definitely <laughs> is gonna be a sequel if this doesn't make the money that they needed to make. Um, even though the ending really is perfectly fine for it to be I think a it, one movie. I think it ends well. Um, but you know, it ends with it ends with um, the one dude dying, the eldest brother dying, the sister just kind of. I think she was the only one that was good. And she, like, she disappeared. Like, she was there and then she, she was And I think gone. literally she's the, her only thing was that she wanted her mother back. Right. I think that was the only thing she wanted. I think wanted. she was generally The other two one. wanted to use her. Yeah, and kill her. And kill her. And she, the, the sister was the only one that wanted her mother back. Right. And uh, that's kind of the weird thing. So, I mean, we're talking about plot details here. The, the overall setup is that Mila Kunis character, Jupiter, is the perfect genetic rebirth of the former head of the Abrasics house right. uh, ruling uh, house of the universe basically yeah. they're not like the rules of the universe but they're they're uh, they're like dukes you know in like a vast empire of enti of entitled they call right. it um, so her three children have stayed stayed around because she was killed recently well recently in their terms because they're millennia old because they harvest humans for regeneration so uh, the the which daughter thought, was saying she was on her forty first millennium, yeah. which I thought was a cool concept to bring that in. Like yeah. it was, I really wanted to know how they created this formula to stay young to keep living uh, for so long, and they explained that quite well, and uh, and it makes sense. And I think that part of the movie was good. That part of the story was good, uh, but it's just it's um I don't know it, it's it's a, it's a it's tough to release a original movie like this, and especially in, in movies that are out there that bring visual effects and sure. bring good stories with the visual effects. So if you don't hit on one out of the two or three things that need to hit, you, you're going to have a tough time. And that's, I think they and that's hit. I think they hit 100 percent on the visuals. Oh, the visuals were absolutely the visuals amazing. were stunning. Even not in 3D, there was a huge yeah, feeling of depth. Oh, absolutely. I think the the CG characters along with the the human characters all it was seamless absolutely yeah, seamless yeah. you know the best video game cutscene or trailer that you've ever seen in your life you know 
amp that up another 20%. Oh, yeah. And it. that's what the characters feel like. You know, they felt like logistically there. You know, they yeah. felt like they were in the room. They felt like, you know, the fight never seemed... Because looking at, like, Spider-Man 2, mm -hmm. those fights were clearly CG with yeah. Electro and all that. Yeah. Whereas in this, these giant dinosaur lizard guys with wings and they're fighting with their tail and it's just seamless. Yeah, it it was seamless. absolutely seamless. The space battles, I mean, the whole thing was really, really well done visually. That's what I'm saying. If you can see it on the big screen, see it on the big screen. I would even venture to say that a full ticket price, not 3D, not IMAX, I don't think it's yeah, worth all that. Not necessary. I think a full ticket price is definitely worth it. Um, it just to see, see it on that big of a screen, you know, if you've got 50 inches or less at home, it's just not going to do it justice. Right. Um, no, definitely, definitely a big screen. Uh, it's definitely to watch it on a big screen because the visuals just are are absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, overall for me, I mean, it was a good movie. I wouldn't necessarily not want to watch it again because, it, especially because I was more tired that uh, last night watching it. So I think I would have enjoyed it maybe a little more if I wasn't as tired. Um, but overall, I mean, it's still a good movie. I'd still recommend watching it in the theater just for the visuals aspect of it. It's one of those things like, you know, Avatar. Everybody wanted you to see Avatar because it was visually amazing. And this this is right there with it. I mean, the world... Uh, I'd wager people, that Avatar has a better story, though. That it has a better story? Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. No, absolutely. Um, but... Um, but the Wachowski brothers, I mean, they just... They, they definitely brought... They brought their A game when it came down to visuals, and I don't expect anything less. These are the same guys that brought the Matrix to us in the 2000s, and those visuals were amazing at that time. Absolutely. So I don't expect nothing less than what I saw on this screen yeah. this time around. I think overall it's a good movie. I think they're. Um, I think the biggest thing is one for me. The whole boots combat was there was too much of it in my opinion. Uh, I mean I know it was outer space, but I feel I think like there was just. At some point, it felt like it was too much. I think the reason they did that was that he, because the whole thing was that he used to be a skyjacker, which meant that he had wings, and he, he does get wings, him back right. at the end. Uh, I think they wanted to give him that that flight. They, sure. they wanted to give him because even at the end, he's not wearing the boots. Right. You know, he's right. not using them. Rather, yeah, he puts. You know, he's got the wings, so he goes flying wings. after her as opposed to her being on the on the. Because she has the boots. Then I don't think they were. I think he had. He still had his. Oh, okay. I think she had her own set. But I'm saying is. I think that was kind of him holding on to that, sure. you know, the, the weightlessness. And, that and that's, kind of, that's yeah. how he knows how to fight. Right. And that's how he is best at fighting. So I think that's kind of where that comes from. Yeah. Um, that's, that you know, he was never going to be a ground combat guy. Right. Um, and I, I think that's, I think it played well for the character. I think the character representations were all really good. Uh, I just don't think that the acting was really good. Um, the sister was good, but her I don't know all the all the kids all mm -hmm. the the three, uh, the three primes or whatever they call them. Right. The kids were good. I enjoyed the kids. I, they were all kind of weird looking. Yeah. The eldest, the eldest were, yeah. had these like big puffy lips that I just couldn't get yeah. my mind off of. Like this guy's talking, and I'm just like, man, those are huge. Like, <laughs> like every time he turns around, he no, yells. But... And he every time he would yell, it was like a fucking petulant child. Yeah. I wanted to smack the shit out but of him. But that's that's why it plays good. I mean. <laughs> The kids definitely did a good job at their roles. Mila did overall a decent job at her role. I, I like Mila Kunis as an actor. I've seen her in a lot of other things, and I've enjoyed everything she's been in. Yeah. So even in this, to me, she's done done a good job. I wouldn't say it was a great job, but it definitely was a really good job. I, I think, think it was a good different role for her. It she, definitely, she's usually, you know, she's usually a much more grounded character. Yeah. So this was very much. There was a little more action. She got to beat up a guy. Yeah, yeah. Which was a point of contention between my fiancé and myself. That's what we had a discussion about last night. Um, it was a very heated discussion because she thinks that she should have killed him. She's like, you, she, she's like, he would have kept coming after her. The, what you do is you kill that person. And I'm like... Uh, but that's not the character she That's has. exactly what I said. I would have killed him. I would have killed him. I would have killed but him. But I'm like, that's the thing. The whole point is that... I've this, never killed that's, anybody, that's what I'm but I'm certain if I was in that situation... Yeah, if somebody had just tried to kill me not five minutes ago... And her family. And her family. And now you have the upper hand. You execute that mother like, yeah. forever. Yeah. Whereas she beat him up, threw the stick down, and then he was like, the universe gave him judgment as the, the whole thing collapses and the guy falls. Right, right. So, I mean... 
But she's just her character is not that person. So she, she, she had that human value. Like she, yeah, she was ready to sacrifice herself for for the value of human life. And I think that's that's that idealistic part of her is that you know she has this really huge ideal. Her morals are just so far beyond you yeah. know ours. And I'm like that's what makes her a better person than yeah. me. Like that character is a better person than me because I would have executed that dude. I'd yeah. have kicked him right off that ledge. Absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, overall, um, I say go see the movie. Yeah. Um, I. There's no reason why not. I mean, just even for the visuals alone, I'd say definitely go see it. Yeah, there's there's not much to talk about in this movie except no? yeah, you know, what we what we've talked about. The 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 visuals are amazing. The acting for the most part is is good, uh, yeah. is good but like I said, it's really hard to walk away uh, to to think of Channing Tatum as anything but Channing Tatum yeah. in this movie. It's just really hard. And that takes you out of the movie, I think a lot. I don't think he's a bad actor by any means cuz I have seen like I said I I Overall, from what I've seen him in, he does do a job, a good job. It's just, I don't think this kind of character is for him to hook you with. Right. Uh, you know, like I said, seeing Foxcatcher, that might change our mind, but that's a more dramatic role, where yeah. this is a combat slash dramatic role. Let's so. just say we're worried about Gambit. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to say it, but I'm a little we're, worried. We're kind of worried about Gambit. Sorry, Channing. I'm, I'm happy that he's excited for it. I'm super ex I, I'm hoping that the fact that he's super excited for it brings out a little more of that character yeah. in him. I, I think I think because he knows the character so much, right. you know, this is something that, you know, he said he's read it for years and right, right, knows right. that character very much. So I, th I hope that brings it out more. Uh, just kind of like Ryan Reynolds, he's been planning Deadpool. on being Deadpool for a decade. Yeah. And he's read that character and knows that character inside and out. So for, like, I have zero, like, they could put him on screen with no script and he could make a Deadpool yeah, movie happen. Absolutely. So that's kind of what I'm hoping happens in uh, in Gambit. Yeah. But overall, Jupiter Ascending, absolutely go see it. Um, don't do 3D or IMAX. Don't I just do, don't think. No I just don't think it's worth it. Unless you enjoy 3D, then if you're a 3D you person, want, I think I'm there's a definitely a lot of a lot of really good scenes that I'm sure would look great in right. 3D. Um, but like I said, even on a regular big screen, yeah. uh, no 3D, no IMAX, it was still there's still a huge feeling of depth. Uh, you definitely felt like you were in space. Yep. Um, so, I mean, I, I don't think there was any need for 3D. So. I completely agree. But, yeah, kind of a short one today. Not, not a whole lot to... There's to, really not much to say. Not, not too many... Like, we have the, the solid gripes. That's all it is. Yeah, solid gripes. Solid gripes. <laughs> so, uh, overall, like uh, Starbase, we do five, out of five stars. What, sure. do you, what do you give it? I mean, I'd give it a solid, solid three and a half. Three and a half. That's the same thing I was thinking. Three and a half stars out of five. It's just... Like I said, there's so many more things that they could have done to uh, make it like, a better movie. But you know, overall, visually, it's a five. Visually yeah, visually, it's a five. it's a five movie. But it's just the character build-up, the, the story, and, and just the actors doing their job as the I think it would do... I think if they were to turn that universe into like a CG series or a cartoon series, I think it would be amazing. CG would be cool. Yeah, I think because because of the, the technology that's in use, a lot of the cool stuff that they do, the ships, I love the ships, those like the battle pods or oh, whatever yeah, they were yeah, in, yeah. those things were amazing. Yeah. That, that was awesome. Yeah. But it's just like, I would love to see more of that yeah. and less of this kind of no, stupid absolutely. story. Like I would love to see, I would love to follow either a series uh, or like an animated series or CG series about the, the Aegis, yeah. the, the police force that they have yeah. in the movie. That would be awesome. I think so. I agree. That's it, guys. Three and a half out of five stars from both of us. Go see the movie. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. See ya.